the delivery ad. No, Dad, let me get Mr. Lee Stagg. No. The man's an overcautious, unimaginative, tight fisted, you name it, he's it. Oh, hello there. Hello. I'd let you have the money if I thought you'd take it. Yes, well, I've got other ideas on the boil. You know, you can always do it the proper way, you know. Uh, Use the bank, using Tom's credentials. Oh, well, where's the fun in that? Charles would have let you have it. Charles, he wouldn't let me have the lemon out of his gin and tonic. Please. Cheers, love. Cheers. What's up? <laughs> I agreed to marry him. You what? On the plane before the crash. And I couldn't remember anything about it. And now it's like... It's like the conversation happened yesterday. Well, there you are, you see. I told you you went back to work too early. Please, you keep your voice down. Oh. Really? So, now you remember. I'll marry the man if you want to. Is that what you want to? I'm not sure. He's let the crash get the better of him. He's not fighting back. Listen, April. Do you remember when I used to read you uh, Aesop's fables? Do you remember the one about the uh, the oak and the reed? And the oak blew down in storm, but the reed bent in the wind, yeah. just like you. I'm only trying to explain the good in what he's doing. I know. Oh, it sounds good in Aesop's fable, but who wants to spend the rest of their life with a reed? And have you managed to visit any favourite haunts? John, this is not a city that you wander about in on your own, if you're female and English. And beautiful. I don't think the Italians are too bothered about looks, actually. <laughs> what a pity you're not staying longer. Is there someone you have to rush back to? If you're asking if I'm married, I'm divorced. And you? Oh, that's not a subject one should dwell on, especially in this town. Is Periplus the cause or the result? Neither, really. He had his own plans as well. Which were not compatible with yours? I didn't think so at the time, no. Ah, do I hear the distant sound of regret? Yes, you do. And is there no one else? To be absolutely honest, I'm not sure. Why don't you stay on for a few days? The money's the problem. I'm using a company flat. I have a vast bed. I would love it if you would join me. Join you? You don't have to go through the motions of being shocked. Just ask yourself, do you want to stay or not? If so, we can make arrangements. You jump to far too many conclusions. Jump? And I suggest you finish your meal before you make a complete idiot of yourself. I see. I see it's all right for me to pay the bill, but you won't... Won't what? No. Won't what? No, I... Sing for my lunch? Come here, your conto per favore. saying, in between all the other stuff you've been giving me, you've been saying how small and insignificant you and your company are. Well, you don't know how such you are about to find out. Can we help you, Mr. Roth? Uh, you can't, no. But Mrs. Harvey most certainly can. 
Yes, Jack? Kate, does your bookie take credit cards? Well, of course he does. They all... Why do you want to know? Because it's not easy stuffing two tenors down the phone. Jack, I am not in the mood. I am also at work. Yeah, but there's, there's no one here. Listen, Kate. I was sitting in the Jolly Sailor this afternoon, and this sudden feeling of good luck swept over me. With the ice and soda? Ah, uh, don't knock intuition, Kate. Listen, listen. I want your suggestions for a treble at Chelmsford this afternoon. My advice about accumulators is forget them. Likelihood of you getting three winners in a row is practically zilch. Oh, come on, Kate. You know what I'm talking about. That sudden buzz that you get down the back of your neck. Sudden buzz that you get down the back of your neck is what has made bookmakers rich throughout the world. Yeah, well, yeah. Having said that, oh, yeah, yeah. Prince Fazal on the 230 at 9 to 1 is a certainty. Right, uh, Prince Fazal. That's right. Yeah. And Keeny Meany yeah. at 25 to 1. Who? Keeny Meany. Oh, Keeny It's a good Meany. horse, I've got. Right, Keeny Meany. 3 o'clock, that's yeah. the 3 o'clock. And the 4 o'clock. No, I'm all right for the 4 o'clock, Kate. Okay? I've got a horse called. Jack O'Bells. Jack O'Bells? Oh, what nonsense. You'd be absolutely mad to put your money on him. Oh, come on, Kate. He's screaming at me. Why ask my advice if you intend to ignore it? Oh, come on, Kate. I... <clears throat> oh, can I use your phone, please? Absolutely not. Why not? Because this is a boutique, Mr. Roth. It is not the tap room of a pub or a billiard hall. Do you know, I've had a belly full of you orchids today. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, I took an idea to your husband through Relta Marine, right? Plans, projections, the lot. All I wanted was money, and he turned his nose up at me. And well, that's I why I'm getting... Yes. Please leave. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Put on those bets later. Jack! Hmm? The money. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have a posh day, Mrs. Urquhart. I think I'm doing the right thing, son. Well, by the oil deal. Well, it's hard to say until you start drilling. Oh, not that. About Urquhart keeping Charles in the dark. Oh. Fairly courageous move on his part. Yeah. Still, I don't like Charles not being kept in the picture. Was that a thought? Or an instruction? I don't give you instructions, John. I ask your advice. Oh, Edward. Well, you know, there's nothing would make me happier than to see you and Charles merge. But how would Charles feel? That's the question. Oh, I'm on. Charles, I hope oh, you don't mind. I've made myself at home. Mind? Of course I don't. You had a good look round? Yes. It's beautiful. You've done a wonderful job. What kind of a day have you had? Well, I've been preparing a breakdown of leasings for our new chief executive, Mr. Urkel. Have you heard of him? Yes, the name does ring a bell. How about you? Have you had a nice day? Yes. Yes, I have. You don't sound too sure. Oh, no, 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 I am sure, but, um... Catching up on 20 years of your daughter's life and trying to build up a set of memories you never actually had, it's quite an experience. Yes. Yes, I can understand that. Things are slowly beginning to drift back to me. Are they? I remember things you told me on the plane about the house. <laughs> I've been wandering around looking for them, trying to piece together the jigsaw. Just the house? No. I remember the conversation we had on the plane, just before it went down. Do you? Very clearly. Why didn't you remind me of it? I don't know, really. It uh, just seemed unfair to put you under that kind of pressure. I didn't want you to feel under an obligation. Charles, I... It's all right, Avril. You don't have to explain. You'd rather not get married, I know that. Don't 
Don't you want to know my reasons? I have a feeling I might not like them very much. 